Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out Pro Cosmetics, um, the 11.0 series or 11.1 series or how many of updates this comes out. Um, we are checking this out because a few things have changed since the last video we did on it. They added 1.16 support, it now supports SQL Lite and MySQL. And you can now create balloons, music statuses, and particle effects and everything from the configure files, which is great. Um, you can also use any of the pre-made ones, which there is so many. There's like 280, I think, pre-made ones for you. 280, yeah. Uh, pre-made cosmetics for you to mess around with and see. So we're going to go over all this, how you set it up, how you download and install it. There's also a wiki page and everything available uh, if you need it. Um, and it will go over how to set everything up, the placeholder API. Uh, you also have a developer API which you can add and create stuff for. So that is terrific. So great job to the developer file for doing all of this amazing stuff. So we're going to go over um, the configure files in just a moment, but I did want to hop in game first and just give you a little look at how everything works in terms of in-game. So by default, when you join the game, you get a cosmetics menu down in your hotbar. Of course, you can configure the location of where this spawns, what happens with all of it, the title, everything like that. We'll go over that in a minute. But in order to open it, you just right click and you can see it's opened the cosmetic menu. Here you got particle effects, arrow effects, death effects, balloons, mounts, emotes, gadgets, music, pets, miniatures, banners, morphs, statuses, and you can actually see how many coins you have if you have vault installed, or you can use the inbuilt coin system, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so you can do all of this cool stuff, and we're going to go over some of the particle effects. So in your particle effects, you got all of these cool ones, like Aura of Flame, Flame of Magic, Crutch Candy Chain, Shadow Walk, Emerald Twirl, Blood Herix, Legendary Aura, and if you enable them, you can see it is enabled just below me, and of course you can go to F5 to see it a little bit better. If you want to switch your particle effects, you can just come in here and spawn a new one, which is really cool. I kind of like the Umbrella one. I feel like the Umbrella one's my favorite it looks absolutely amazing um and i really really enjoy it so great job and great work on the umbrella one sorry i got interrupted by a phone call but yes the particle umbrella is truly my favorite particle out of all of these and then for arrow effects so if you have a bow or something you can um fire like sparkly arrows Wee, sparkly arrows like us enable um you got death effects so whenever you die one of this happens so you got like the musical death and everything i'm not going to be going through all of these just because i don't want to spend like an hour and a half just doing the cosmetics i'm going to go over how you can like go through all these yourself i'm just going to go over a little bit of an overview and then go to the configure files and then by then it will already be like a 15 minute video so don't want to go too in depth in this video but balloons you have a lot of balloons you got multiple pages of balloons which is there's so many um my favorite out of all of this is probably the tnt balloon or the what's another good one the i think there's a youtube balloon yeah the youtube balloon is also my favorite um so you have multiple different ones of course all these can be permission edited and stuff so you can only use it if you have a permission um which means you can do donator ranks and everything which is what a lot of players do on servers in terms of music, you can play music. So if you wanted to play He's a Pirate or something, it will spawn like an entire DJ set. And it will actually play the music. I don't know. I can unmute the game sounds and see. You may be able to hear that. I don't know if you can hear it because it's um, my game sounds are really low. But it is playing, which is really cool. So he's going to be here. Once it ends, this will all disappear and go back to the way it was, which is really cool. All right. In terms of the other things in here, you got your gadgets. And these are like your fireworks, ether pearls, blat blaster, disco ball, party pooper, soccer ball, cowboy, chicken, wither missile, flesh hook, explosive sheep, bomb man. Um, so let's do explosive sheep. So if you click it, it will say, do you want to purchase ammo for this? You can enable and disable ammo in the configure file as you want. And you can see I don't have enough money. So we can actually run a command now that we don't have, because we don't have vault integration on, we can run a command to get money for Pro Cosmetic. Do like a valid amount. Don't do like a billion. Otherwise, it probably will break because Java has a limit on integers when you put them in. So now I have enough coins. I'm going to go ahead and accept the purchase. And I'm going to throw the sheep. And you can see it's an explosive sheep, which when it explodes, it's going ahead and exploding into multiple sheep there. Um, and you can obviously have a cooldown on this, like you see in the action bar here. All right. In other news, you got emote. So if I wanted like the rage emote, I can put it on and you can see my character's raging. Really cool. Uh, you got mounts. So you can uh, spawn these different mounts and ride around them on hub or wherever you want. And of course, they can have trails and stuff that automatically disappear behind them. Very exciting. Um, what am I missing? Statuses. So if I'm AFK or if I want to ping something, I equip ping and other players can see these. Um, which is really exciting. That's kind of what Mindplex uses above their heads and stuff, which is really cool. Got pets, so I can spawn like an elf pet 
or if I wanted to spawn a villager pet, here's a villager pet, or if I wanted to spawn a pig pet, here's a pig pet. So you can spawn all these different pigs and stuff. I'm going to spawn the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny seems cool. I got all my cosmetics out here and having fun. Um, you got yourself miniatures, which are these little ones. So if you want like a miniature floating chicken here, that's pretty cool. And of course, you got multiple pages of these as well. Uh, if you want a cow, you can have a floating cow. Um, if you want, let's see what else we got. We can spawn a panda. There's a floating head of a panda. A tiger, a float, uh, floating tiger there. All these really, really cool things are really cool. Banner, so you can see you got the pug banner, Happy Cheap Disco, Sweden, United States, and you get the morph. So the morph is where you turn into it, it yourself, and other players will see you as that, which is really exciting. Of course, you can right-click any of these to despawn them so you don't have them active anymore. And um, you can see your current coins in the middle. And of course, you can just click to unequip all your cosmetics as well if you want to do it that way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into the configure file here and check it out. All right, so inside the configure files, you see we got a lot of things in here. You got arrow effects, balloons, banners, config, songs, data. So you can add your own songs here if you want. All of this good stuff. But we're going to just start in your default configure file to check it out. At the top of the configure file, you have, if it's multi-world, do you want to blacklist different worlds from not having uh, the configure file? Do you want to enable world guard support? What do you want to unequip in these world guard regions? What regions should unequip those things? Do you want a 3D menu? That's pretty cool. Maybe you want to try that on your server. Do you what type of storage? SQL Lite or MySQL? I'm using MySQL. Here's the data for that. Uh, what type of economy do you want in? Built in or do you want to use the vault economy? Do you want anti lag enabled or disabled? Do you want to check for updates, include metrics, restore different cosmetics, um, permission commands? What permission should it run when you open something in a treasure chest? And we'll go into setting up a treasure chest after this. Um, of course, Windows is doing this. Give me one second and I'll go ahead and clear all these notifications. Thanks to stupid windows, those all popped up, but I do apologize. Congratulations to the people who got a little shout out down in the bottom right hand corner. All right, so you're in your cosmetics menu, you can change the title of the cosmetics menu. What rows? Do you want to fill all the empty slots? Should you be able to move items? Should you give it on join? What should you give it on a world change? What should it be down here at the chest? What data value is it? What amount is it? What slot is it? What uh, the display name is it? So it says cosmetic. What should the lore say? So if we go in game, you can see that's exactly what this says here. It says right click to open the cosmetics menu. Uh, fill empty slots. What should it fill all the empty slots with? What data value? Which would be the color? How many of them? Should I unequip all cosmetics? And this is where you can change all of the items inside of that GUI. So you can say, see, you can un you can change like the amount, the slot, the unequip buttons in. Same with the coins, and same with all of the other common items. So the deny, the accept on the purchase for the. Uh, like uh, coins or ammo, you got the next page, previous page arrows, the go back is to bed, you got the double plant for the coin, got unequipped for barrier, fill empty slots with the uh, gray stained glass. Um, so inside of here, we'll go from the top down. Your data folder holds the treasurestestations.yml. Don't mess with this. You'll set this in game and it will automatically fill up that file. You got your song file where you can enter any note block song in here and add it to your song uh, cosmetic row. You got arrow effects. So this is to control the arrow effects. You can enable and disable them. What should the menu look like? Same thing. So every menu can be changed, disabled, moved. You can disable individual cosmetics here. You can disable or enable them here. You can change everything about them for every single one of these. So any file we open here will have cosmetics and the ability to enable and disable them. So let's say we want to disable the balloons. We can just change this to false. Now, once we go back in game and restart, you can see there will be no balloons. And we'll go through this in a moment. Uh, you got your banners, same thing here. Do you want to disable banners? Sure, I'll disable banners. I'll just remove that. It will remove it from the GUI, but save all your settings in the YML file. Uh, you got all this cool stuff. So you want particle effects. Why don't we say we want to disable one of the particle effects? So why don't we say we want to disable the shadow walk particle effect? If I disable this, it won't appear in the GUI, but the rest will. So you still have the GUI. You just disable that particle effect. Maybe you don't want it to show up in the GUI. Maybe you want it to show up using the developer API or something. That's doable that way. So you got all of these files where you can configure everything about inside of these menus. So you can configure everything in this menu. How much the ammo costs, how much the item costs, what you can do with it. All of this stuff can be configured. Why don't we talk a little bit about the commands? So there's a few commands. There's Pro Cosmetics Reload, which reloads the pro the uh, plugin. Um, it's a basic reload, so it's better to restart your server. You can see it hasn't changed or disabled any of the things in here because I have to restart the server for that. And we'll do that in a moment. But we'll go over a little bit more of all the commands. Got Pro Cosmetics open. 
the menu. So if you just want to open that one cosmetics menu, you can do that through this item. So let's say you wanted to open up the particle menu. So it could be PC open particle menu or whatever you want to open. The PC equip, you can manually equip a cosmetic. So if you want it to run a command when you join the game to automatically give a cosmetic to a player, you can do that. Should you equip a, um, like unequip or unequip all, uh, whatever you want to do, you can do that right here. You can do unequip all, unequips all your current cosmetics, gives a player cosmetics, gives a player coins, so you got all the coins commands, and then you get down to the treasure command where you can set the treasure chest and everything, give treasures, all of this stuff. So why don't we go into setting up a treasure chest? So you can do this with slash PC treasure chest add and it's going to say you're not standing on a chest so what you want to do is you want to go into minecraft and you want to go ahead and get a chest and you're going to place this down anywhere where there's enough space in your world wherever you want your treasure chest to be make sure you're spending right put pc treasure chest add enter and it will turn into the open treasure you got by default the mythical treasure legendary treasure and normal if you go in and click it it'll say you do not have any you can right click the purchase and it'll say you want to purchase i accept then I can go ahead and open and you can see I've teleported in the middle. It's going to go in and open all of these blocks and everything that here are completely customizable in the configure file for you to change whenever you like. Uh, so there you go. So you got them open. So look, I unlocked that and you can open four chests just like inside of Mindplex. Uh, sounds and everything can be changed as well. We'll go in and pull that up so you can see the treasure chest. Dot, the actual orders like YML. We'll go over this so you can see what the category names, what layout should you have, what blocks should be on the bottom here for each one, um, the chances for each thing, uh, what command should it run. All of this is available here so that's really really easy and fun to do and i just like sometimes messing around and opening all these treasures just to see what i can get and what i can accomplish by doing that um but that's pretty much all the things you can do it's completely customizable there's so many cool things you can do um and hopefully you have fun with it because I use it on my server whenever I make servers and stuff. It's really useful. The uh, very, very helpful in terms of development. Uh, you can report bugs on the Discord and get them fixed pretty quickly. So make sure to check this uh, plugin out if you are interested in the Pro Cosmetics plugin. Um, I, per se, say it's the best cosmetic plugin I have ever used. It's there are no bugs. It fully works. It's easy to use. So many cool features. So make sure to check it, it out. Um, Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I apologize if I didn't go through every file. It just would take too long. Plus, I want you to discover it for yourself. So make sure to go check it out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow.